Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lore Studios. We'll be looking at how to upload file to server using Retrofit in Android. I'll be showing you how to upload image, video, any files, name it, to the server in Android using the Retrofit 2 version. Retrofit abstracts your REST API into Java interfaces. However, we'll be using annotations to describe your individual API endpoints and their HTTP requests. We'll be having two models in this particular uh, tutorial. The first model is the Android client, whereby you have your retrofit uh, calls and uh, service. The second model will be the server-side uh, code, which is written in PHP, which actually allows you to uh, upload the uh, files in question to the server. I'll be start from the uh, PHP file where I have it's called you upload image the PHP uh, where I'll be explaining uh, in details on how this file is actually being uh, handled we have the target directory where we have the uploads forward slash as a string uh, and you close it with a semicolon there's a target file name variable whereby we're going to add this to the base name passing the file and the name parameters we have the array passing it to the response uh, variable. Now I'm just going to check if the image file is actually an image or a fake image part. So it's going to set the files. And if it's, it's actually an image file, it's going to move the uploaded file to a temporary name you know, based on the target file name. Now if it's done successfully, there's going to be a message that there's a successful upload else there's going to be an error saying the error while well, there's an error while uploading and if there is if the part is actually not uh, miss uh, not melt it's going to actually toast up that the required field is missing so there's a success and uh, there's a response message so all this will be encoded to JSON so passing the response and the echo is going to actually encode to JSON. This is the PHP file that you'll be uploading to the server. And I will actually show you on how to actually do that. I'm actually uploading to a real server that's a live server. This is there. This is my files in the server. I have a folder called retrofit with an images folder. Here you go. This is the upload image PHP and uh, for you to have the corresponding uploads which you actually have right there this uploads directory the target directory you must create an uploads folder which is actually going to hold on to the picture the uh, videos the files in question that you really want to upload to the server there must be an upload folder in the same path with the upload php or with the server code that is going to actually handle the upload after you must have done that uh, correctly you get the path to the upload image php that path will be specified in the android client and uh, we're going to use uh, the endpoints as well in the retrofit uh, apis I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be explaining how the retrofit source file is being developed. First of all, we'll look at the build gradle where we have the square up retrofit 2 and the retrofit 2 converter JSON because we're actually converting to JSON. We actually need these two compiles to make uh, the build work successfully. After doing that, you synchronize with gradle. We're looking at the rest, the layout, the activity main, which is the UI XML of this particular application, is a linear layout with a pattern left, right, top, all 16 dps. The rotation is vertical, and the context is calling the main activity. Now I have an image view, which is actually going to hold the place order rather. Uh, well, this will be changed at runtime when you actually call. A particular image to upload to server we have a linear layout whereby we have two buttons 
the first is pick the image while the second is uh, picking a video We're actually testing it on two different uh, file type an image either jpeg png gif or uh, mp4 uh, video a closing linear layout and we have the button that actually triggers the upload with an id called upload a closing linear layout to close up the parent linear layout i'll be moving straight to the java classes where i'll be talking about the main activity the app config the api config and the server response the main activity in this main activity we imported the progress dialog the intent cursor bitmap factory media store uh, we also imported the ok http3 media type and its request body likewise the retrofit 2 call callback and response the main activity extends app compact activity whereby we have uh, a field the button upload the button pick image the button pick video likewise the media part which is the string the image view the media column uh, the string array whereby we have the media store video and also the video media we have a progress dialog object the uncreate method have the super uncreate saved instance state whereby you set the content view to a layout activity main you need to instantiate the progress dialog with a new progress dialog passing this uh, particular class as a parameter you set the message uploading that's when you trigger the upload button you know, it's going to be a progress dialog we instantiate the button upload calling its corresponding id from the uh activity main xml the same thing goes with the peak image the peak video and the image view we set an unclick listener to the button upload while this is done the upload file method is being called we get to look at that method uh the chief we also have the button pick image you're going to set an unclick listener to this an intent is being triggered passing the gallery intent i'll uh, create a new intent from this where you have the action pick calling the provider media store uh getting the external content url that is probably the uh the memory card of the device it's going to start activity for results and pass the gallery intent with an index of zero as the parameters now we're going to have the video to actually uh have a low memory you know whereby we need to compress before uploading we're going to set an unclick listener to the button pick video what about the same gallery intent will be passed uh the same thing happened whereby you have the provider the media store to the external content url you're going to start activity for results passing the gallery intent this time is going to be an index of one let's get to look at the on activity results we have the request code the result code and the data data as the three parameters being passed we call on the super on activity result passing the parameters we're going to have a try and cache method here when an image is picked that's if the request code equals to zero and the results code equals to the results OK and null is not equals to data it's going to get the image from the data the selected image and the get data method the same thing happens to the five parts column now all this will be done when and this is for the video this time now this is for the image and for the video we actually have for the image and the video button else if you no know, the request code is one the result code is result okay and the null is not equals to data it's going to get the video from the data get the data get the five parts of the video else it's going to tell you, you haven't picked any image or video that's going to be a toast there's going to be an, a catch for this exception what about if something actually went wrong in the process of getting the image or the video after doing that there's going to be a thumbnail for selected image whereby you have the get thumbnail part for local file 
it's going to have the context and the file URL as the parameters to be able to upload a tumbler of the particular selected image. Now we have the upload file method. The progress dialog shows when this method is being called. The map is used to multi-part the file using the OK HTTP3 request body. This is actually uh, from the uh, retrofit. Where we're going to pass the media type the request body and the map is actually going to put the file name get the name of the file itself uh, with uh, the, the backward slash not the forward slash it's going to call the api config class we'll be talking about this config class uh afterwards whereby you create an object for me called get response it's going to get a retrofit from the api config class the same thing goes for the server response all these are going to be done uh, at the background to actually make the upload successful. Let's get to look at uh, the API config itself. Okay, where we need to report the retrofit HTTP header, the HTTP multipart, the post, and the path map. We have the API config interface. If you are familiar with retrofit, uh, this is the endpoint. This is actually going to be added up to the base URL. The base URL, you can find this in the app config where you have the base URL. HTTP www.larestudios.com and you have the get to fit method whereby uh, the builder is being called, the base URL is being passed and we have the add converter factory where you have the JSON, the JSON converter factory. You create this and you build up the retrofit. This particular endpoint, retrofit forward slash images forward slash image upload underscore image dot php will be added to the base URL. I'll quickly show you these parts. When you have the retrofit, this is my server. Trying to load up the retrofit. Uh, you have the images based on the path specified and you have the upload underscore image dot php just like what we have at the endpoint over here let's get to look at the server response uh, this variable name should be same as in the JLC response from PHP whereby you have the success and the message if you still remember whereby we have a success and the message in our PHP file we have the get message whereby you return the message itself and also the get success where you return the success uh, string. I'll be looking at the manifest of this particular application. There are some two permissions that are very important, the internet and the right to external storage. These two permissions are very important. You have to include them before you build your application. After doing that, build an APK or test with an emulator, but it's advisable or recommended to actually test this out on a real device. I'll be uploading the source file to my GitHub account and I'll be showing you screenshots of this because I actually tested it on a real device with our uh, API 4.4.2 that's the Android KitKat. Here we go with the application, the Android upload, you get the PNG drawable from the drawable folder and we have the pick image button, the pick video, and the upload button. A click on the pick image, we text, we actually bring this interface to tell us the listening application that has the image capability. Whereby we have your gallery or the photos app in the device. A click on the gallery takes you to all images you have in your device you know uh, from the download even whatsapp images can be uploaded uh, camera camera images can be uploaded photos can be uploaded even screenshots different image formats and the directories will be actually selected a click on phone photos actually give me the ability to pick this particular image now you choose the image 
and you click on the uh, pass mark to actually select this particular image. This populates it to the image view we have up there. Now we actually created an image view in this XML, the activity uh, main XML. So after having this populated in the image view, you click on your upload button to upload this particular image to the server. Whereby it's going to upload to the uploads folder you created alongside the upload image PHP uh, part. A click on the upload will actually do that. Whereby that's going to be uh, a progress bar. You know, I actually explained and mentioned that when you are calling the upload file method, the progress bar comes up and all that retrofit calls will be done in the background to actually make the upload successful. After that, you have your successfully uploaded message and you have it right in your server. I will show you this uh, picture right in the server where I have it in the uploads. If you notice, it's going to come in another string, in another MIME type. No, it's going to maintain the MIME type order, but it's going to come with another name. You know, which is the server name, this name being given to it from the server. I can decide to download this particular picture. And still display it with my image viewer. So you can see that this same picture is being uploaded successfully to the server. The same thing goes with the video. And the same thing goes with any other file type that you might be using to upload using Retrofit to your server. Retrofit is a client HTTP library that actually enables you to communicate with a REST API on the fly. It makes our communication the HTTP communication, the low-level communication with the HTTP, very easy and smooth to achieve. Just specify your app config, which is the endpoint URL to the major server code that is going to actually do the upload, which I showed earlier. Have the base URL that is actually going to be a default, like a base, a, a, a default URL, and the endpoint URL can be attached to it. You know. Get your server response. Have your OK HTTP calls. This is actually this part is actually very important. The upload file method, where you have to do the OK HTTP three request body to make the upload successful. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. If you have any question concerning retrofit, just drop a comment in my drop comment session uh, of this particular video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.